Do y'all know what sanctuary cities are? Have y'all heard this term before? You know, sanctuary cities, that used to mean, it used to mean that uh, uh, if a, that a uh, law enforcement agency has made a decision that if they interact with someone, if they stop someone, uh, you know, to detain them for some uh, criminal matter, that they're not going to inquire about that person's immigration status. Well, that's, you know, that's, that troubles a lot of people. But sanctuary cities, the policy has gotten a lot more aggressive. So that now we have a few cities and counties in Texas, none around here, but a few cities and counties like Travis County, the sheriff there. We've also heard this coming out of Dallas County, other places where here's their policy. Let's say in Travis County, they've arrested Vladimir on some unrelated offense. And if there are any Vladimir's in the room, I'm not picking on you. It's just a, it's just a, the name of someone who might, might be an immigrant. So, so Vladimir's here and they arrest him for some unrelated offense. And then ICE, Immigration's Customs Enforcement, the feds tells him, hey, will you hold Vladimir? He's wanted for a violent crime in another county and he's here illegally. Well, in Travis County, their policy is no. They turn him loose. I'm not making this up. Their political agenda about illegal immigration is more important to them than enforcing a lot of, does that bug you guys? Travis County's done this, Dallas County's been doing it. Other counties do it de facto without telling us it's their policy. Now, now, nobody around here is doing that. Of course, that's not happening. It's not an issue for us. Fire law enforcement and our local officials are not playing that game. But I think we understand that when the violent criminals turn loose in Dallas County or Travis County, they always stay there. So, so fixing this sanctuary cities problem, telling these cities and counties, if you do this, if it's your policy to turn these people loose, then we're going to hold you accountable for damages they do. And if you're a, an elected or appointed official and that's your policy you put in place, you can be removed from office. It's not too much to ask for folks to obey the law. Does that make sense to you guys? So we finally got that done. The governor signed that. It was an emergency item. That's the law today. This doesn't affect our law enforcement here because they weren't doing that. But sadly, in some a few parts of Texas, they were. So uh, in some